Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and this is my Kylo Ren costume build. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. We are still on the journey building the Kylo Ren costume, right? And uh, just so you know, just to get you up to speed, this is like the third or fourth video I've made. Uh, done some videos for the helmet and some of the extra pieces. The main costume, right? The main costume, the, the soft parts, those are being shipped. They're on their way. Uh, the gloves also being shipped on their way. In fact, I pretty much have all the pieces either here in the house or on the way, <laughs> except for the uh, lightsaber belt clip. So the lightsaber belt clip is really the only thing left that I need to purchase unless I decide to change uh, my boots. I have boots that will work. I have boots that will work, but I'm kind of debating about whether I want to be a little taller. So try to see how I can make that happen. Kylo Ren is not exactly short, and I am. I'm on the shorter. I'm on the shorter side, um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. You got any got any tips? <laughs> got, got any tips for uh, black boots that'll make me a foot taller? Uh, you can you can put the links down below. <laughs> uh, I can only imagine uh, what what you guys would send me. Today we're going to talk about some more things to do with the helmet in your head and your neck. Uh, we're going to talk about the neck seal and the balaclava. All right, so one of the mistakes that I see amongst cosplayers and costumers, and not just not just Star Wars, but any right, any, is wearing the costume in a way that reveals their actual neck or their hair peeking out the back or their hands or their wrists or ankles, I don't know, just somewhere where you, right, elements of you are seen. And the whole idea with cosplay or, or dressing up in costume is to become another character. And so to become the other character, you kind of have to strip away all the elements of yourself. And so if you've ever looked at either Darth Vader or Boba Fett or the Stormtroopers or uh, Kylo Ren, you'll know that they wear usually something really high on their neck or a balaclava to cover their face. And so if you don't know what those two things are, that's why I'm here. Uh, the first, the balaclava, is just like a ski hood. You just Google search it, Google search that word, boop, 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 boop on Amazon and uh, you'll get something pop, you know, something will pop up uh, and you just make sure you get the right color. So if you're going to be Boba Fett, then obviously you're going to go towards something that's a little bit more light gray. And if you're going to be Kylo Ren or Darth Vader, you're going to get something that's black. Mine is just really nondescript. It was the cheapest one probably I could get on Amazon and uh, I got to take my glasses off. And then it's hard for me to even wear my glasses with it because you didn't know your ears are covered. So I will do, I will do my best. I'm also, you know, wearing a t-shirt. So let's, let's make this look as, as graceful as I can. So I'm gonna tuck it into my shirt like that, okay? And the whole idea is, hang on. The whole idea is you're covering up as much as your face of your face as possible, right? So that when you're wearing the helmet, especially if you haven't uh, made the visor darker, right, or the eye eyepieces darker, you're trying to cover up as much of your skin as possible, so that when people look at you, they don't see you. So it'd be like this, right? Yes. This is like the goofiest. <laughs> <laughs> the goofiest filming uh, I've ever done. Uh, so the next seal, okay, the next seal I got on eBay. And again, just to kind of tell you my my costume build philosophy, uh, the next seal I got was 32 bucks. It was from X Cosser. Uh, and it it's not going to be 501st quality. That's not what I'm shooting for. If you don't know, 501st, their stipulations are screen accuracy. Okay, they're going for screen accuracy, and if it's not screen accurate, it's out. So they're going for, you know, 
something that would look like it walked off the movie set. And that's not exactly what I'm going for. I'm going more towards like who you'd see maybe at Disneyland or Disney World, that kind of character. Something way better than just a costume off the rack, but not exactly, you know, 501st or movie quality. So I got a neck seal that was like in the middle, not the cheapest, not the most expensive, but somewhere in the middle. So the neck seal looks like this. It's this pleated material at the top. Okay. And then a long piece of black fabric underneath that and then a zipper in the back. And I would think that the neck seal should be tight. This is a little, it's bigger than my actual neck. So it's looser. And I've already done some, like some test shots with it and I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm not gonna say I'm like ecstatic with it, but I'm okay with it. Uh, the zippers on this is a little sticky, okay? And I'm, I'm, now wondering how well this is going to go on camera just so that I have to pull the zipper up, right? I just moved the microphone so that it wouldn't be underneath this, but you can, this is unzipped by the way, unzipped, okay? And you can see that this is going to go up and it's possible that maybe after, you know, the, the day I wear it in costume, I could find a way to make the neck seal a little tighter so that it's more to my neck. Um, I will try. So again, when you'd wear when you'd wear the costume, all this loose fabric would be underneath, right? Underneath the main part of the costume just to hide it. And then the collar on the costume will come up to here. Okay. And so just to show you what it looks like. I'll put this around my face. And this is just a warning, right? So if you want to be Boba Fett or a stormtrooper or Darth Vader or Kylo Ren. You are going to be hot. <laughs> you are going to perspire. Your, your face is going to be mostly covered and you are going to be hot. So here's my helmet. Helmet going on. So I can't, I can't even see what this looks like. Okay. I can't even see what this looks like. So straight on shot. This is what it looks like from the sides. Okay. And then turning around slowly. Plus, bear in mind that I'm going for Force Awakens Kylo Ren, so I'm gonna have a hood. The hood will cover a lot of the imperfections in the neck seal. The hood will cover a lot of the imperfections in the helmet. So there's a lot of grace that comes with the hood. And I can already feel my breath labored as I'm trying to talk loud. I cannot see through this at all, so, or very well. So I'm gonna take this all off. All right, so I just finished recording the video for the neck seal, and I was looking at just the distance between where the helmet s sat and the neck seal began, wondering if I could close that gap by removing the guts from the helmet. Now, I've been putting off modding the helmet because it costs a lot of money and I'm scared. But it's just paint, right? It's just paint and some sculpting. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I could do it. There's some great tutorials on YouTube. So this is just a test, okay? This is just a test. I haven't thrown anything away. Um, I removed the guts from the helmet. So when you do that, you don't have the push buttons on the sides anymore and you don't have the battery housing on the top. So all the inside has been stripped out and hopefully that'll create some more space. Now, obviously you'll add some padding back in, of course, but I just wanna see where this sits on my head um, without the guts inside. So this is a test.
So that was just my update. And just to go backwards a little bit, like I said, the gloves are also on their way and I made sure to get gloves that came up to about here, okay? So there won't be any issue of my sleeve pulling back a little bit and seeing my skin, right? The gloves go far and the sleeves come far. So there'll be a nice consistency of not being able to see any of me. I wanna be Kylo Ren for Halloween. I don't wanna be me, okay? So that's my update. And uh, if you got any pointers or tips or advice, uh, I'm sure we'd all love to hear it. I uh, wanna hear your experience as well, if you have that. Or uh, yeah, like I said, <laughs> any recommendations on how to make myself a foot taller by Halloween, that'd be great. Uh, thanks for watching guys, may the force be with you. I'll see you next time, bye.